Hi everyone, Bindu here for Crafty Meraki. Welcome to the grand finale of the Meraki Versary release, which is a celebration of Crafty Meraki's first birthday. We are having a very special YouTube hop today to celebrate the Meraki Versary release and we're giving away $100 worth of prizes to one lucky winner. What's even more special about this hop is that I am joined by these amazingly talented artists for this hop. So make sure to hop along and leave a comment on all of their videos for your chance to win the prize. For my project today, I am making this fun rainbow shaker card. So let's get to it. I'm going to be using this fun peacock themed stamp set, which is called Dance in the Rain, that was just released today. Love all these amazing peacock images. I'm also going to be using this slimline die, which is called Trafalgar Square. And I'm making a slimline shaker card, so I'm using all slimline dies, including this one called Parisian, which was just released today as well. This is a cover plate die that just puts a stitch line on your card panel but doesn't cut out the lines. Considering how many rainbow lovers we have on the hop today, it's only befitting that I make a rainbow shaker card, right? Speaking of rainbows, I'm going to be using these Atelier inks by Ink on 3 in rainbow colors. So let's dive right in. So I am taking one of these peacock images from the Dance in the Rain stamp set, and I'm going to be stamping just the feather part. So I'm inking up the stamp and I'm wiping off the excess where I don't want the stamp to print. So I'm Taking the stamp, I am inking it up in rainbow colors. I started with, uh, this is called Sweet Petunia Pink by Ink on 3. I'm stamping this image in a diagonal way. I'm not stamping this straight up and down. As you can see, I've moved my paper around and I'm, I'm kind of going across the paper here. So I'm going to be repeating this step with all the colors, but essentially I am doing one color at a time with the rainbow order. I'm using an acrylic block to stamp my images because I'm just doing random stamping. I am not looking for precision stamping, so I am just using my acrylic block. As I said, I stamped the pink, which is the My Sweet Petunia ink, and next I'm stamping Marigold Orange, and again, I am going in the diagonal pattern. I'm going across the page from bottom left to top right. Next, I'm using the Goddess Green ink. Once again, I'm going in the rainbow order. I'm done with pink, orange, green. Next, I am going to go to the Peacock Blue, and then I'm using My Jam Purple. So I'm going in the rainbow order and I'm using the uh, Atelier inks from Ink on 3. So back to the hop. On the YouTube hop today, hop along all the stops, make a comment for your chance to win $100 worth of Crafty Meraki products. We'll pick a random winner and we'll announce the winner here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. I want to give a huge shout out to all the amazing ladies who are joining me on the hop today. Ardith, Arjita, Jenny, Corin, Verity, our very own Lean, and my favorite rainbow artists of all times. We have not one, but three of them, Erica, Mona, and Laura. So like I said, we have so many rainbow queens today on the hop that I had to make a rainbow shaker card. Speaking of my card, I am finishing off my stamping um, on my panel. I decided to add the yellow, which is Beasting Yellow is the name of the color. 
I decided to add the yellow as well in these remaining uh, top and bottom areas of my card front. Next, I'm going to use the Parisian slimline die and I am going to run this panel through my die cut machine for some added interest and the texture on the background. So this is what it looks like with the added texture and that beautiful feathery pattern on the background as well. And this is what it looks like on the back side. Next, I am making the shaker part of the shaker card. I die cut a bunch of these square window frames using the Trafalgar square die and Nina Solar White cardstock. All I'm doing is I'm layering these die cuts using some glue in between and I'm creating dimension without using foam tape so I can add my shaker bits directly to the wells that I'm creating here. So like I said, we are celebrating the first birthday of Crafty Meraki and the celebration would be incomplete without me thanking all of you from the bottom of my heart for your continued support by emails, my messages on social media, comments here on YouTube and Instagram, and actually handmade cards that I've received over this last one year from a lot of you who just randomly sent me cards saying thank you and that just literally makes my day. Like I said before, there have been so many ups and downs and so many days where I doubted myself, where I literally wanted to give up, I wasn't sure of what I was doing, where I was going to go next. But truly, your love and support kept me going and I am glad that I pushed through because now we're celebrating our first birthday. So as a thank you to all of you for helping me get to this point and for literally supporting me throughout, we're having the YouTube hop today and we have two more giveaways on Instagram later this week. So be sure to follow us on Instagram and hop along for your chances again to win more prizes. Also, you can follow the hashtag Marakiversary on Instagram to see tons of inspiration from the design team using the products from Marakiversary release. So back to the shaker card here. I have assembled my window frames on the card base and I also have my acetate frame ready to cover up the shaker bits. What I'm doing here is I have my rainbow sequence. Um, I am trying to make a gradient effect even with the sequence. So where I have the purple and pink stamping, I'm trying to use purple and pink sequins. The next I have pink and orange, so I'm using pink and orange mix sequins and so forth. So next I'm gonna use green and orange and then blue and yellow. So I thought it would be cool to just keep the rainbow theme going even in the shaker bits. So I have my own custom rainbow mix, I guess you could call it here. And I'm just using sequins from my stash. Once I'm done adding all my sequins, I am just going to use the acetate uh, that I mounted on a white window frame. And I'm just going to close up my shaker bits here. I wanted to keep the sentiment on this card pretty simple, so I am using this Celebrate sentiment from You Are Incredible stamp set that was released in January. So all I'm doing is I'm just stamping it onto white cardstock and I'm just going to trim it and I'm mounting it on top of the card directly. Here's a look at our finished card, all those gorgeous rainbow colors and the rainbow sequins and bunch of rainbow goodness. I hope you enjoyed making the rainbow shaker card with me today and don't forget to leave comments below in the comment section for your chance to win $100 
We'll be picking a random winner on the 13th of June and we'll make an announcement here on YouTube as well as Instagram. I'll be back again soon with another video, but until then, stay happy, stay crafty. Bye!